it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Um, I've actually got a new camera set up and I need to sort out the lighting, so I apologise for the shadows that you may be suffering from. Trouble is, if I turn the light on, I'm not convinced. Oh, maybe if I put it there, that might be better. We'll try that. It cuts down the light, the shadows a wee bit. Um, okay. Um, I don't know what that's doing on here because we don't need this. This is toot. So let's get rid of it. Um, right, I've come on to do a quick project. Um, this is the project. Now, I have a little uh, crafty group, uh, Facebook group that anyone's allowed to join. I think I've mentioned it before, the Old Stables Crafty Hangout. Um, and I've set a challenge for uh, the people there to make a project using the 20, where are we, 2016, 2018 in colours, or close to. Um, it's not just for people using stamping up, so I'm not being um, exclusive, as in I'm not excluding. Um, and it's not just for cards, it's for um, soft, soft crafts, all those sorts of things. So, um, what I've said is use uh, any three of the five in colours or the nearest that they can get to them um, to make a project. You're allowed to add black, white, cream and any metallic. Um, and that's the challenge. Make anything you want using uh, those limitations. So, of course, the next thing I had to do was come up with one of my own. Um, which is always a good idea, really, when you're setting a challenge, is be able to meet it yourself. Um, so this is what I've come up with. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to sort things out. So I'm using the Fabulous Flamingo stamp set, which I got free when I attended on stage in April last year uh, in Amsterdam. That was my uh, prize patrol. So I thought I would dig it out again because I haven't used it for a while. Um, and I'm going to do a slightly different colourway to this, only very slightly different, but because a flamingo is a flamingo, um, so we can't really change the colour of a flamingo. Well, we could. And I have seen different coloured flamingos, but we're going to stick with ordinary flamingos. So I am going to start, I'm going to do this in a slightly, what might seem a slightly odd order, but it works for me. So I'm going to start with Flirty Flamingo why wouldn't I? Um, so I'm going to make a guess. I don't think this stamp set will carry over to the new uh, annual catalogue and my reasoning for that is I don't know what we'd use instead of Flirty Flamingo for a flamingo. Um, unless of course they're going to introduce another of this sort of flamingo-y type colour. Um, who knows what, what's coming. We'll find out in April. Um, because that's when the next on stage is, so not long to uh, not, not long to wait. So those of us who are demonstrators will get all the news in April if we're going to on stage. Uh, it's a little bit later for demonstrators who don't attend on stage, but um, only a little bit. So I need a scrap of paper. That doesn't look too horrific. Right, it's one scrap of paper because I need to stamp off. So I've now got the body. Um, I did try this with um, Peekaboo Peach uh, for the main bit of the body and trust me, it's not a good look. So we're not doing that. Um, right, so just line it up. It's not a close, close line. Well, this bit is a, is a reasonably good line up. The next step does not, well, I say doesn't line up. I've not managed to get it to line up completely. Um, so either I'm useless, which you can put it past me, or it doesn't line up completely. Um, so I've got the body, as in the outline of the body. Can you see? Yes, you can. So my new setup is um, without a tripod. I can do all this. It's lovely. Uh, it's just an arm. Um, so yes, I must get a weight to put on the um, other end of the base because it is, it's okay, but... Um, <clears throat> only just. Uh, right, so I've used Memento Black. Uh, now, historically this has been used with um, Basic Black, so the, the, the stamp is stained, which does make looking through it interesting, but as I say, it's supposed to line up there or thereabouts as opposed to completely accurately, so I'm not whew, 
too worried. But it is one of the things to bear in mind if you're using basic black on photopolymer stamps, or indeed if you're using pinks on photopolymer stamps, or reds I should say, that they do those two uh, colours do stain the photopolymer, but they're still fine to use. So it is only a stain, and as we know a stain is not dirt, it's a stain. It's what I would call clean dirt. Um, so, memento again for the legs. Uh, these are even more difficult to line up. I try and line up the, the feet and the elbow. Um, if that is actually an elbow in flamingo terms, that's not too bad. Um, so, that's that. We are nearly there. Woohoo! Um, right, I now need... Oh, I need the... I need the water. Water, water everywhere. Right, so that's the flirty flamingo done. Tick, one colour down, two to go. Dapper denim, and all I've introduced so far is black and obviously white for the cardstock. So dapper denim, ink up my water stamp, and just one up and a across a bit, two, down and across a bit, three. And that gives quite a nice water. It is dark, I accept. Um, and probably if I wasn't doing it for the challenge, I would have stamped it off. I'll rephrase that. If I wasn't doing it for the challenge and I had to use dapper denim, um, I would have only used the second and third generation. But because I'm doing this for the challenge, I'm trying to be honest and, you know, embrace it fully. Right, Emerald Envy. So we've done two colours. We're on our third. Yay! So the grass, and again, I'm just going to go one, two, three, and just do some... I say grass. It's probably reeds, isn't it? So there are our reeds. Clean that off. And then all I've got to do is mat it up uh, pop a piece of ribbon on and then some gems. Now this is where I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to embrace the flirty flamingo. Um, it's a tiny weeny. In fact I'm going to trim that down slightly because it's too tiny weeny. Even for me that's too tiny weeny so I'm just going to take a teeniest little bit off and I'm going to take it off this side I think. Teeny bit off there. And then I shall take a teeny bit off the top, just because it's just too, 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 really. So there we are. It looks like that wasn't straight anyway, so that's all right. Right. I think I just didn't cut my card base, my card mat properly. Yeah, that's better. Right. OK, so um, just grab some snail. there. Then I've got, the, on this card I use the Dapper Denim Grow Grain Ribbon, this time I've got the Flirty Flamingo. So I'm just going to pop a bit of Fast Fuse on the back near the bottom of the card so that I can just wrap that round there. And now I know I've been harping on about this, but you know, when you've got a stuck record, you've got a stuck record. These colours will be going very soon. So um, now really is the moment to start stocking up uh, Dapper Denim card base still, um, because there will be a point when stocks will just go. And I'm going to use multi purpose glue this time. Uh, stop, stocks will just go and then you won't be able to get your favourite retiring ink colours. Particularly important is to get the re-inkers, because if you've got either the ink pads or the markers, or indeed both, the re-inker works for both, um, and it will keep those going for you for a very, very long time. Um, I am only just beginning to re-ink some of my ink pads that I've had for nearly two years um, and they're not necessarily colours that I use infrequently. Right, 
For the front, I am using the Glitter Gems. And if I can find my piercing tool, that would help. Oh, I've tucked it in the box with my gems. So one of the colours of these is Dapodenum. So I'm going for Dapodenum because I can. I think that's going to become my mantra. I'm doing it because I can. A bit like my Facebook Live that I did last week. Last week? This week. At some point recently. Um, so I'm just doing three of those. Uh, I am going to start doing occasional Facebook Lives. Um, now that I've got my new setup, that will be easier to do. Uh, so if you don't already follow my Facebook business page, um, you may want to do that. There's a link to that below in the description bar. Um, so have a think about that. And then you will see when I set up to do a Facebook Live. The one that I did was an impromptu, so um, no one would have known. Right, so I'm going to go for Tickled Pink for you again, because I'm doing the whole um, flirty flamingo thing. Uh, so let's grab that. And ink it up. And just, oh, that's not very well inked. On the subject of re inking ink pads, I need to. There we go. Tickled pink for you. Right. That just needs to go on the inside of the card, and then we're done. So, at last, I've got proof for my crafty hangout crew that I can actually meet my own challenges. Um, so I'll probably post this card in there before it goes live on YouTube, um, so they get a sneak peek. If if don't care, shall I put my teeth back in? Um, if you would like to become a member of the crafty hangout, there are links in some of my previous blog posts. I will try to remember to put one in this video um, post so that you can just pop over there. You just put in a member's request. Any of the members can add other members. So once you're a member, you can get all your chums to join as well. So, and when, well, it's only been going a couple of weeks and we're nearly at 100, which actually is not bad going um, for only having been going for about a week. So just the only change is the ribbon. Uh, and the mat. Otherwise, it is pretty much the same card, Tickle Pink, for you twice. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed that. I'll try and sort out the lighting for the next video. It might just be a question of putting my spare light somewhere else um, and filming not in the middle of night. Um, so uh, if you don't subscribe already, bottom right hand corner, uh, there's a subscribe button. Uh, do click that and also click the alert bell next to that on the on my channel page. Um, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Links are below to my blog, which has got a bit more information. It's got the product list. Um, there's my hostess code below. Do remember during celebration, every £45 you spend before PMP, you get free stuff. And as of the 15th, there is extra free stuff, which includes some items from the main catalogue that are now freebies. There are some lovely things, including, for crying out loud, the Myths and Magic Glimmer Paper. Um, so bear that in mind. Um, if you don't already subscribe to my mailing list and you're in the UK, if you subscribe uh, between now and the end of March, I will enter you into a draw for a uh, craft kit. Um, I'll be drawing that at the beginning of April, so keep your eyes peeled for that. There's a form at the bottom of the web version of my blog post for that. It's on every blog post, so you can't miss it. Um, so just fill that in. I'll need the address, obviously, because if you win, it'll be useful to know where I'm sending your prize. Um, so I think that's it for now. So thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!